because it reminds me so much of the potential that we have and what we can be and what we can strive to be. And I think that the whole gallery represents that with each artist. I call my prints digigraphs. I did photo-based serographs, so screen, for 30 years. And I went digital in 98, so I'm a pioneer, you might say. I'm going to be a little braver with my color. And I've always used color as sort of a, an expression of a life force in nature. When you're painting from nature, you never can capture the full impact of the sun, the breeze, the liveliness of being in the outdoors. And color kind of for me is the vehicle to get at that. Because I think it's a small, but it's very strong. It's uh, very emotional. And I like the um, mixing wood and clay. And then I really feel comfortable with organic pieces. And I think that this works very well in that. It takes about an hour to do the setups. But once you start, the clay dries out so quickly, you only have 45 minutes to complete the whole book. It took me three years to teach myself how to do this. The lapis comes from Afghanistan, and the gold in the pendant is gold vermeil. I spend a lot of time searching for pendants and beads from all over the world, and I put things together and see what happens. So the reason why I called it the look is because I had this uh, love-hate relationship with the rooster that my husband had, and every time he'd give me a bad look, uh, I knew I needed to go on the other side of the room. That's it. When we did this as a community, we realized how strong we are as an artist community. 
within the state of New Mexico and what we have to offer. All the tourists that come up to Santa Fe need to come and visit Corrales. This is such a rich community, so supportive and constructive and enjoyable. The endorphins that I'm going to get out of this thing this tonight and this weekend will last for a long, long time. Just a really, really fun community, and that is something really special that, you know, a little village like Corrales gives to artists, and, you know, and I think that helps. People that come and visit must feel that. They must feel that energy and how much it's a community. It takes a village, right?